Assalamu alaikum, this is Andre. In this section, we want to introduce all our four applications. That's going to be the client application, the restaurant panel, the driver, that's the delivery boy application, as well as the administrator. But our main focus is going to be the administrator section. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go through what our administrator, administrator panel has, and then we can go ahead and try to just do something with all the four applications together okay so here right at the top we just have the heading and we have the the logout button this is the logout button if we click then we are going to be to be logged out so i'm just going to to click and now we are logged out so now we need to just log in probably let's try to log in hopefully i won't put the the wrong account hopefully i won't put the wrong account so this is our administrator our administrator is logged in so if you press on restaurants we'll be able to see all the restaurants that we have we have pending restaurants so let's say a, a user created a restaurant and that restaurant is not yet verified their restaurant will fall under this section the pending section if a restaurant is, is verified, then it will go under verified restaurants. And if a restaurant is rejected or banned, it will go to, to rejected. So let's check for, for instance, we do have this King Foods restaurant. This is the restaurant that we have here. Okay, so if we open it, we'll be able to see the, the revenue and we'll be able to see the, the commission on their earnings as well as the withdrawable amount. So withdrawable amount is calculated by just removing a certain percentage from the total revenue. So let's say the total revenue is 20. The, okay, like let's say the owner of the application is going to take 10% of that. So that 10%, we take the total revenue minus the 10%, then that will give us the withdrawable amount. A person is not allowed to withdraw money, which is, beyond a withdrawable amount okay so on the other hand the administrator has the ability to delete to delete a, a restaurant okay so that's it when it comes to to restaurants you know, we can just try to focus on restaurants right we want to just have an order and see an increment of our of our revenue Okay, so because if we have an order and it's delivered successfully, then we're going to have an increment in, in revenue. If we have an increment in revenue, then we are going to be able to, to make a withdrawal. Okay, so we come back to, to the user application. But before we go to the user application, we can go to this particular restaurant, right? This is our restaurant. If you take a look, we have uh, one feed item, one food item, we can upload another that's that's possible so let's just do it now so to add food we just click add and first we are prompted to pick the category that we want to put our food under so i'm just going to pick any let's go with burgers in so we can upload the feed so i'm just going to pick an image and pick another one probably this one is for chicken so if we upload an image then here we'll see our images so we're required to have a minimum of two images after we have two images we can just go on to the next one so this one we have to give it a name so the title of the food is going to be it can be fried chicken or chicken and chips either way Okay, we have our description of preparation, preparation time, and we're going to set it to, to 15 minutes. And our price, we're going to set it to, let's say to $23. And we need to add the, the food type. We can have this food probably for lunch. Then we add, if we add, then our type is going to be added here. So I'm just going to say after workout, Okay, so that's all that I'm going to add. We press next, and here we need additives. So additives are like add-on, like sauces, drinks, if you want to add to, to that particular, uh, instead of saying tomato sauce, let's just go with the, with the usual, that's ketchup. 
Okay, so for ketchup, we can say ketchup is going for $1.50. Then we add, that's our ketchup. And we can add Coke. For Coke, we can say Coke is going for $2. And we can add that. And for food tags, we can add something like health. Um, uh, something like that. Yeah. Okay, you can even say Mexican, Mexican, I thought it's not Mexican, but you can put something, okay, whether it's a British cuisine, something like that, a Philly cuisine, you can put it under here, so it'll help you when you're searching the food, like, okay, it'll help your food to pop when someone search for something, okay, so we're going to set availability to true, and then we can submit Okay, so after submitting, our food item has been created. So if we go to foods, then we should have two items. We have two items. We get chicken and chips and we have the beef tacos. Okay, so that's it. That we, That's all we need to do when we're adding food. So now that we have this food, we can go ahead and search for the food inside of this particular application. That's the user application. So we're going to just search for for chicken now let's hit search probably a eh, we do have chicken and chips so we're going to click on it so this is the food that we just uploaded okay so we want to we want to order this food we are going to order we're going to order one okay so placing an order this is the page that we're prompted to and we should proceed to to payment so after proceeding to payment we are shown a stripe payment page right so here you can put your email. So I'm just going to go with a dummy email over here. And the card number is always going to be the same. That we have to put the date, the CVC and the card holder name. Okay. And we pay for our order. Okay. So we have to wait for our order to, to be placed. Well, that took long. So our order has been placed. This is our success page. So let's go ahead, close that. Okay, so right now a new order is appearing here. Okay, so this is our restaurant. Our new order is here. So in our client side, it will appear in our in our orders. That's supposed to be my orders. If you click my orders and we get to paid, then it should appear here. So when the restaurant updates this order, then it will change like accordingly, right? But over here, if we take a visit, if you take a look at our administrator app, our order is right under placed, right? Because it's a placed order. It, it hasn't been updated as yet. So the restaurant can either accept the order or decline the order over here. So let's say the restaurant accepts this order, then it's going to be moved to preparing. So if you visit preparing over here, then our order is over here, right? And preparing. And... This part, we won't see the order until it's been pushed out for delivery, okay? When it's pushed out for delivery, then it's going to appear in the driver driver side, okay? So let's just take a look, okay? That's, that's okay. So from here, we can push. Let's say we're done cooking. We can push this one to, to the driver, to the courier application or we can deliver it by ourselves like self-delivery that's why we do have this section whereby we can we can check the orders that we're delivering by ourselves so as a restaurant <laughs> so we can push this to to courier okay so when it's ready then right it can appear in in our driver application Let's say this is our driver. Our driver is going to to pick up the order, right? Once they pick up the order, the order has been has been picked. It will be pushed to to picked orders. And the driver, after they have delivered the order, then they can mark this order as as delivered. Once this order has been marked as delivered, so that's the point when the restaurant can see their revenue. So if we take a look, our order was 27, 27, $27, right? So checking the total of this particular restaurant, it should be the balance plus 27, okay? 
So in total revenue, it goes up to, to 28. So that's, that's the basic logic behind it. So if we go to deliver it, probably we should see the order. The order is here in delivered. Okay. When the order is canceled, it can appear on under canceled. That's it for, for our orders. So now that this particular restaurant has money in it, has money in it, we can go ahead and try to just request a payout. Okay. So if you request a payout, then we prompted to enter our details. That's the bank, the account name, the account number, and the amount that we want to withdraw. So let's take, for example, let's just 23.5. Okay. Then we are going to submit the the payout so whenever we submit a payout we are going to receive an email so let's go ahead we want to check we want to check our email our email address first uh, that's gmail so over here we need to visit gmail no oh, we got three messages initiated this is the the payout request that we just sent of 23.50. Okay, so you can do better with the emails because I was just, it's just for a notification purpose, like 23, okay? That's going to be our payout. So after this email has been sent, if we come to, to cash out, we have the request over here in the administrator side. So the administrator side has the ability to approve the the payout let's take for example i don't know like what kind of transaction is it going to be whether it's going to be a bank transfer it's going to be paypal whatever you can choose the way that you want to handle the transaction from here so let's say this transaction has been approved if it is approved then it's going to move to to complete it right so it's completed over here so if you visit back our to our restaurant then over here we are going to see there is a decrement in in funds okay and here there is our our latest payout of 23.15 okay so that's how the whole flow is going to work and on the other hand for our drivers if a driver registers then we have the ability to to verify we can verify a driver the same way that we can verify a, a restaurant, okay? So we can do the same for, for drivers over here. We have our verified driver. At the moment, we only have one, res one driver, which is the driver that we have over here. If we click on the driver, we have the ability to see, okay, their statistics and whether to delete or to disable them, okay? So that's all for the driver. And moving on to categories, only the administrator has the ability to add categories. So for categories, we can click on this and then we can go on to, to upload a category. But categories are a little bit tricky because the reason why they are pushed to the administrator side because you want to maintain some kind of order, okay? Because if everyone has the ability to up to, to just upload categories, then we are going to have duplicate categories. That's why we have it over here. Okay. And foods, these are all the foods that we have inside of our application. Okay. So these are the available foods. We do have pagination, you know, administrator side. So we can just click on the page and we go to the page. So this is the last food that we just created over here. So if a food item is sold out, then it can appear under the sold out panel okay so that's it for this particular section and if we go to the user section in our user section we have all the users that we have in our application so let's take for example a person just registers for an account that account is going to appear over here okay so right now these are the accounts that we have in the application the verified ones and the pending ones so if you're account is pending then it will appear here if it is verified it will appear here with your with your role type okay so we have clients vendors and we also have the administrator okay i can't see the administrator over here but he's somewhere else he's somewhere okay 
So that's it for that part. For payouts, we've already covered the payouts requested and completed. So when a payout is complete, then you will see the, the balance that's left the amount and it's just history we won't be able to do anything or from 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 this particular page because this payout has been processed already okay so that's oh let's see whether we can do something when it comes to we can talk about some we uploaded food in our restaurant app we do have our wallet we do have our our foods so and right at the top, we have the ability to close and open a restaurant. So let's take, for example, uh, this restaurant is closed at the moment. So we want to open our restaurant. It's eight o'clock in the morning. So we can just click whenever we open our application. We can just come right ahead, click on it. And then we're going to send a request to our backend. And this restaurant is going to be to be opened. Now, okay, now it's open. Okay, so just clicking we are going to open or close the restaurant 